hey guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by this is Lilia. so let's jump into this video like i made a video sometime i think that was last month about my armpit being so dark the water what can i do so after so many researches and some people dropped what to do yeah and i got to find this koji -san soap yeah this is koji -san soap and uh, so piercing hyperpigmentation, decoration, dark knuckles, dark spots, any dark area of you know inner thighs that is dark, any dark area of your body that you know, want it to lighten up. This Koji Sun skin lightening soap is doing the job, like it does it. It's a good soap, yeah. So and um, because it's everywhere, is in, in your face, like it's just everywhere. This soap is everywhere. I want to point out some things for you that you look out for when you are going to get this soap. Like I would recommend this soap too. Like because it's everywhere, like everybody knows that it's everywhere. Like everybody knows that it's doing its job. So you know, this kind of soap will definitely have fake. It will definitely have fake. So these are things to look out for when you want to get when you want to get this particular soap. These are things you look out for. This koji sand soap contains kojic acid and when you go to the ingredients you will know that kojic acid is the fifth ingredient here and again coconut oil is the first number one ingredient in this in the ingredients in this soap you know when you have people that put in the fig might not really pay attention to these details and t3 is the third to last ingredients on this soap, this Koji Sun Lightning Soap. And like I've mentioned before, it helps in decoration, hyperpigmentation, and all that. Then it has this zero pigment light here. These are things to look out for. It has the zero pigment light here, you know. And again, it has different grams. You have a, a pack of a gram of 435, 100 grams, and the smallest one. So in this pack, now we have three in this pack. Yeah, so another thing to look out for, this soap is manufactured in the Philippines. These are the things to look out for. And it's distributed by Bevy Beauty Element Venture. Bevy Beauty Element Ventures are the distributors of this Koji San soap that is manufactured in the Philippines. And it has a batch, batch number which always ends in 24. The batch number always ends in 24 and again another thing to look out for in this crystal soap when you're getting it it's a you know because it's not produced in it produced in a country that, that don't speak english so they have after everything that they have the one that written in their language there when you look at the soap yeah the one that written in their language here that's a word a philippine language i don't know maybe i think it's philippine sha but it's not english and again the other thing to look out for in this crystal soap is that the manufacturing and the expiring date they have two years gap in between like example this one now is manufactured on third 10 2022 and it expired on third 10 2024 so these are things to look out for it has a batch code and the barcode you can always scan it with your phone you can always scan the barcode with your phone so these are things to look out for and this goes sound so like it's zero pigment light you know it doesn't and again the fake one has a seal here when you get you see a silver seal here that's the fake one has a silver seal here so how to know the original like i mentioned before go to the ingredients coconut oil is the first ingredient koji acid the fifth one is produced and manufactured in philippines and is reported by bevy element ventures beauty ventures and why using this soap? Like I want to give, yeah, I want to give you the review. Why using this soap? Just know that the soap lathers so well. It lathers so well and it dissolves quickly. It lathers so well and it dissolves quickly. And again, it dries out the skin. It dries out the skin well. So I would advise that after using this soap, make sure you have a moisturizer. Use a moisturizer after using a good moisturizer after using soap and your sunscreen, of course. So, and this soap can be used at every part of your body, your face, any part of your body you want. You can use the bath. Be serious for now. I'm using this soap for my bath and my face wash. I'm using it though. I use it three times a week. And I advise that you don't use that every other day. Maybe just like I'm using three times a week. Anyway, anything that works for you, sure. But I'm using three times a week. And I think another thing to look out for in this soap is that it stinks a little. 
it's something that you can manage the stinking is something you can manage but again if the stinking continues i advise that you discontinue using it then after checking the pack and see that maybe you're not convinced enough like you're not sick of it you can you can do well i would advise that you open it and okay like now it's open and again the good thing to use this soap like i see that this one is cut like I sessioned it, they cut it in pieces. Advise that you because of it dissolves so quickly, it dissolves so fast. I advise that you session it, like cut it so that you don't waste it, you don't use it anyhow. So you session it. So this is how the one I'm using. Like see how I sessioned this because it's well, it's lather so well, it forms so well. So it's just a little that I sessioned. I just cut the piece and put inside this container. Another thing to look out for in this soap is that this soap once it's exposed to air like it's open like this it's darkens so i would advise that when you get it just put in a container and just a little air can enter it too it will hurt that so these are things to look out for in this so things to do while using this so that you can achieve the results so sessioning it will be a good thing to do so that you don't waste the soap so this is the one i've started using like i started using that this is a week now that I'm using it, and I must say that I'm, I must specify about this soap. I know I must specify about Koji Sun Lightning Soap because of the dark armpits. So when I'm done using it and the armpits are faded, I'll come and give you the review, show you the before and after. But this soap is doing its job. And once you open it, like I've opened it now, you just smell it. So you have this sense like you know orange, you know nutrici. So that's how it smells so mild though like it's it's not harsh the scent is not it's just a mild soap because i advise that when you're going for it so when you're going for a body wash go in with the body wash and have a good scent a good aroma so that you enjoy your bath time you don't have to start murmuring all the stuff why bath time. so the, the 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 aroma the scent of this soap the collision soap is so good like so mild you know orange it's not so harsh, not that orange scent, but not harsh. It's so mad, it's so good. Like I've mentioned before, it lathers so well and it dissolves so fast. So, this is what to look out for why using this Kojisan soap. And again, when you apply this soap, I'll advise that you leave a little, maybe you want to have your shower, just leave it for like a minute, 60 seconds is okay before you wash that off. Before you're going with any other thing you're using on your body, otherwise you leave a little wash it out then. Yeah, you continue using it. Like I mentioned before, it has different sizes, different grams. So this one is a pack of three, but I just got two. And I don't know, uh, have you heard about this condition soap? What do you think about it if you are using it? But for me, it's doing a job for me. So if you are, if you have dark spots, hyperpigmentation, decoration, you know, all those stuff, and you want to clear it, this soap will do it for you. Like I remember that I've said before, it stinks. So just for you to bear that in mind, what the stinking is something that you can manage, like it's not so harsh. It's something that you can manage. And you can use it in every part of your body. You can use it in every part of your body. It contains Koji's acid. This is the Koji's acid is the main ingredient which helps in to clear the scars. Dark spots. I've mentioned that before. Inside here is, is thirteen dollar, but I got one. The pack of three is thirteen dollar, but I got one for four dollar. One for four dollar. So because it's my customer, so she had to like give me this card. So one for four dollar. I don't know how much they are selling in your own country because these are quite expensive right now. Yeah, so just bear in mind it's that range, one for four dollars. So when you convert to your cost, just bear in mind that it's that range. And you understand. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me if you're going to try this soap. If you've heard about this soap before, what are your thoughts and your opinions? What are people saying about this soap? If you're willing to try it, but I advise I try it and it's quite I think it's not expensive, it's on the low side. So if you're having dark spots on the stuff, you can use that. And when you use it, like I've mentioned before, don't forget to moisturize, like because it dries out the skin and use your sunscreen, of course. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.